I'd like to uh, show you how to make a little glass panel, something like this. Um, you have the choice, really, of, of making a panel which could hang in a window, so it would have these little wire loops on, or you could have it, um, if it was fired once, um, you'd end up with a, a piece like this, a little square, and then it can go in the kiln a second time with a mould, and um, it gets fired to a lower temperature and just slumps into the shape of the mould, so you could make a little dish like this out of it. First of all, um, Andrea's done a simple drawing, um, a sort of a stencil sort of pattern onto paper, and now she's transferring that onto ceramic fibre, and the fibre, um, the idea is it doesn't burn away in the kiln. Um, you can cut it with a, a craft knife, and um, that's what she's going to be doing in a minute. Uh, so you will end up with, um, if, you're, if you're careful, you can get actually two patterns out of the same piece of fibre. So on this, um, one's a negative, one's a positive, um, out of the same piece of fibre. Then the next thing I usually do is scatter frit. That's this, which is ground up glass, quite fine. This is like the texture of sugar. So in this case, I've sort of scattered it fairly loosely over the surface um, and of course it'll fall into the deeper places and, and you get darker colours there. Um, and then we're going to use a combination of different um, sorts of glass, like these are uh, glass stringers, very thin little, like little bits of spaghetti. This is confetti they call it, you can see why, just really thin flakes of glass. And there's these little bobbles which I've made beforehand just by melting a bigger grade of frit in the kiln. So those can be added. Um, and the good thing with all this is it's what they call compatible glass. So you can put together any of these colours and there's dozens of them. Um, and they're guaranteed to get on together when you melt it in the kiln. So it won't um, crack apart or anything horrible when you take the piece out of the kiln. Um, and hopefully you'll end up with a design in glass, something, something like this but with more details. You can see here I've used some of those little bottles and stringers. Um, so I'll take these pieces home and I'll cut this thick piece of glass to go on top um, when I'm in the workshop. So I'll cut that, put that on top and then that goes in the kiln it'll melt down and become a little panel like this. If it was going to go in a window, I'd put some little wire loops on it at that point. Um, but you have the choice of making perhaps a little dish out of the same piece. So if you didn't want it as a window hanging, um, you'd put it in a second time. And in the second firing, uh, you'd use a slightly lower temperature, put it in a mould and the panel will sort of sink down into the mould, they call it slumping, and take the shape of the mould. So you have the choice of making a little panel or a dish.
then I'll put these into the kiln. So laying them on the shelf. some glass to go on top of them. Some of them are going to be dishes, so I like to use a bit of iridescent glass. I don't know if you can see the shine on it. It's got this sort of iridescent finish. Is that shiny? Okay, um, so I'm going to cut a few pieces of this. I'll put face down on top of the, the fret. Down, so there it is. Um, sort of goes from blue to pink, so we'll put the bluey bit up there. Put that on top of the angel, center it up, and then I'll give it a layer of clear glass on top. So now I'll just do that for the others. Okay, um, now they've all got glass on top of them, um, I'm going to take them over to the kiln. Oh. 
24 and I'll program it okay now I'm going to um, now these have cooled I'm going to clean the fibre off the back of them. So for this, I'll I can peel these bits off. I'll use a bit of water because it saves getting dust in the air. And, and just clean off this fibre. I can get most of it off with my fingers like this. And I'll save that for making moulds and things. So there's most of it gone and the rest I'll scrub off in here under water and it also um, it just sort of cleans the edges if there are any little sharp bits of frit sticking out it takes those off as well. smooth now. Yeah, that's, that's reasonably smooth. So now I'll dry it off. Just get the tea towel. There we go. Dry it off and then you can have a good look at it with the light through. Um, so if that was a hanging, that's what it would be like against the light. It'd have two little wires on it, of course. Um, but this one's going to be a dish. So I'll put it on the mould there. And um, there's going to be another one going on this end, somebody else's panel, and then we'll put them in the kiln. Right, so now they're all ready to go in the kiln. Again. This time, they won't be as hot as they were before. They'll go up to about 650 centigrade, just enough to slump into the dish and um, pick up the shape of the mould. Just put the others in. Thank you. 